Next Wave DV presents NAB 2013. Made possible by Zeiss. We make it visible. Kessler Crane. Innovative tools for filmmakers. Red Rock Micro. Introducing the one man crew. Hey, this is Sean with Next Wave DV, and I'm here with Adam from DJI Innovations. Uh, the, one of their new quadcopters that they have out, it's been out for a little while, but uh, it's called the Phantom. And it's at a great price point that it's really accessible to a lot of people. It utilizes the GoPro. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the features of the DJI Phantom here and get an idea of what's all included for the, in this package. Absolutely. So uh, DJI is a creative technology company. So our products are uh, focused on basically taking what people imagine and closing the gap between what we can imagine and via the conduit of these tools, uh, put that on screen. Um, initially, uh, very, DJI's very first product was uh, the Ace One flight controller. It's a $12,000 flight controller seven years ago. Yeah. Now that has boiled down into uh, the Phantom. So effectively the same technology, the very same robust algorithms that have, you know, basically this company was founded on is, is in this little guy. So uh, we have a very robust uh, flight controller, fully GPS enabled. Um, both uh, affects you know flight performance and the ability to control this thing in space, okay. um, but also enables uh, some really, particularly as this is like you know an entry level uh, you know for people who are just learning how to fly, um, some really valuable uh, fail safe. Uh, safety uh, features uh, has GPS return home to land. So uh, I get a little uh, cocky and I fly it. You know, a thousand. You see how far can this thing yeah, go? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I just like you know I fly it till yeah. I can't even see it in, in space anymore. Uh, I turn off the transmitter. It'll hover to 60 feet. Return itself to its point of origin where it took off and land itself. Uh, nice. And the same applies to uh, the battery. Um, or I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, the, the battery. Performance and voltage. So, okay. uh, if you're getting low on your battery, this this uh, LED indicator, which uh, informs you about all kinds of things, will start flashing uh, rapidly red. But okay. you know, okay, I'm running low on battery. Um, but within the flight controller is the technology to understand, hey, I've got exactly enough battery to land. Okay. So, uh, in the event that I ignore that flashing red light. Phantom is still going to do that same sort of practice, hover to 60 feet, go to 20. So it's calculating minutes. all that, and it's uh, preventing it from being over discharged too, because the light bulbs could be damaged. From exactly. That. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and it prevents it from, you know, what might be a fear is, you know, I'm having a good time and uh, I've lost track of flight time, and all yeah. of a sudden it falls out of the sky. So that's right. It's really, it's really, really easy to lose track of time when you're messing around with that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Okay, so uh, so we got the GPS, and that is that uh, brings it back to the controller. Yeah, it's a flight controller. So whatever the wherever the controller is, it'll bring it back to that. Yeah. Uh, and then what other kind of stabilization technology you have on the flight, co flight board? Absolutely. So uh, we have a gyro-based IMU. Uh, you know, all those sort of fun games that you do with your iPhone driving. It's effectively the same thing. So it understands uh, the orientation of the ship, right. which then uh, tells, you know, uh, if you were to not have a flight controller and I say go forward, it would go forward until it crashed into the ground. Right. Whereas a flight controller understands its orientation. It understands that threshold where if I go too far this way, I'm going to fall out of the sky. Yeah. And it prevents you from doing that even if you try. Right. Yeah, I've experienced that. Like I said, the flight controller that I had on one is pretty rudimentary, and yep. it's really hard to learn to fly that way. Yep. So it's great that you have something in mind for beginners to yep. uh, really be able to start flying and be comfortable with it. For sure. And, and it, it actually uh, really enhances and enables the cinematography experience um, because, you know, in GPS, GPS mode, for example, it knows and it's going to maintain its position in space. So if I want to do a shot where uh, I've got a subject below me and I want to just like boom up as the car drives by, yep. or I want to uh, boom down as you know the person exits the building, right? Uh, you know, I'm able to maintain that frame in GPS mode because the Phantom's going to stay dialed in that same coordinate, okay. regardless of the winds trying to blow it around, right? All right. So is that that GPS mode is that just switchable from the controller? Yeah, absolutely. So we have. Uh, we have three uh, selectable flight modes. Okay. So yeah, you have the option of GPS. Uh, you have attitude. We have this one labeled attitude as well. Okay. Um, we have so attitude that it will hold at a certain attitude uh, altitude that you're at, right? Uh, so. at, yeah, it'll hold. It'll hold altitude. Um, it'll also. Uh, 
maintain a consistent attitude. So, oh, attitude. Okay, you said attitude, not altitude. Yes. Correct. Okay. All right. But but yeah, it will, it will uh, hold altitude. Okay. As well. Okay. So uh, the attitude refers to. Oh, okay. Got you. You're like your pitch, basically, yeah. right? So it's like if I'm saying go, fo you know, go this direction. Yeah. The Phantom's gonna. I'm sorry. It'll probably be easier to do this way. If I'm saying sure. go this direction. The yep. Phantom's gonna do this, right? right? I let off the stick, and it's going to maintain a level attitude. Right. Right. So it, uh, it it levels itself out. Right. So with the GPS technology in it right now, you can have it hold at a coordinate. Yep. Is there any plans or is there any technology in here now that will let you do uh, course planning with the flight GPS? Uh, it is not waypoint enabled. Okay. Um, but what it, what it does have, which is, if you notice on the um, on the controller, there's sort of that third selectable option. Yeah. Which on the controller, it's just both of those are set to attitude mode because for introductory pilots, those are the two modes you want to fly in. Right. Um, by going into the uh, the software, you're able to uh, set that third mode, which you can do course lock, which course lock effectively says, uh, like, uh, you know, wherever my orientation is at the moment that I enable it, like, space is a grid, right? right? So forward is always forward in that grid. Right is always right. Does not matter the orientation of the craft. Okay. It understands that. Additionally, there's home lock. So what home lock does, which is like how you can achieve that, you know, sort of Michael Bay wraparound shot, yeah. is it sets. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, so, so, that's awesome. So the coordinate is like, okay, I am home, which mm -hmm. means that I am in the center of the, the circle, right? So I go forward, it's always going to go away from that point. But if I say go left, it's going to, in a radius, maneuver around me. So if, I, right. if I were to go left, it would continue around at that same distance and make a complete circle. Wow, so, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's super yeah, cool. Yeah, that's a really cool feature. I like that ability yeah. to do that. Designed, you know, created specifically to capture those shots. So. Okay. All right, so you had mentioned software. How does that integrate with Phantom? Absolutely. So uh, the NASA flight controller, uh, for, for the NASA flight controller, we have uh, an assistant software. So you just plug USB right into your computer there, um, and you can do things like calibrate your IMU. I mentioned earlier those, those flight modes that, um, excuse me, that it doesn't ship with because they're sort of more advanced flight modes. Right. You can enable things like that. Basically, you have like complete and total access to the, the brain as okay. you become uh, more advanced of a pilot and, you know, sensitivities and things like that. Are, For more upgrades and everything like that? Absolutely. Okay. You know? And the other thing that's um, really valuable about, about that, you know, and the power of the algorithm is uh, the ability to, um, like, you know, add governors effectively. Yeah, you know? okay. So, um, so you don't overextend yourself. So you don't overextend yourself. You'd be like, uh, I want this thing to not fly over a thousand feet. Right. You know? Uh, because I know that I want to do that because it's <laughs> exciting, but every time yeah. I do it, you know, then I have to return home to land, you know? It's yeah. Like, uh, you know, so really, you know, it's you know, it's really all in the algorithms and all in the code that make the thing special. And with that, you know, you kind of have complete access to uh, customizing. All right, so I see that right now you have a GoPro mounted to this and a gimbal system. Can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, as, as as I'd mentioned, uh, you know, the company was founded on building the best flight controller uh, possible. You know, which is all about. Uh, You've always had a good reputation of that. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's always, at, you know, at its core, it's about stability. Right. Right. And those algorithms are about understanding orientation and maintaining stability. So uh, with our gimbal, and I guess what makes our gimbal exceptional is the same thing that makes our flight controllers exceptional. Is that same algorithm, that same technology that understands orientation, okay. is also what's powering this guy. So it understands when the cam, the ship's going left, and it allows the camera to stay level. Right. When the ship's going right, stay level. Winning forward, winning back, right? So um, this is as we uh, released here at, at NAB uh, right. just yesterday. Okay. Um, this is our first uh, gimbal to carry a GoPro designed specifically for the Phantom. All right, sweet. Yeah, so you got some vibration isolation there too. Yep, vibration dampening. Uh, as I said, you know, sort of the, the same uh, brain effectively powering it, um, and you know, because it's such a, a light form factor, enables. You know, to get that same sort of performance out of this little little guy. Okay, and uh, for the package, when you purchase a DJI Phantom, what is included in that package? Absolutely. So when you purchase the Phantom, uh, as you see, we have uh, some add-ons here, which are uh, our training wheels uh, for yeah. first-time flyers. You know, you bump into something. You're not going to uh, poke someone's eye out. Sure. Or cut off their nose. Yeah, I mean, it's actually like <laughs> one of the things that we do in a, in a demo, which we can actually show you, is like, you know, you can put your hands in the props and it's gonna, it'll sting, but it's not going to, to hurt Okay, you. so they're not yeah. turning that high of RPM. Exactly, they're, so, they're, they're turning incredibly fast, but they're so light, and the, um, you know, effectively like the torque in the motors, because they're so small, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's going to like bounce off your finger before it's gonna okay. touch you. So, you know, this is more so, if, uh, if I have an exposed blade, 
and I bump into a wall. You're going down. I'm going down, <laughs> yeah. right? Whereas with this guy, I'm just going to like bounce off it and All stay right. in the air. And then uh, you get a battery with that too in the controller, right? Yeah, so, so uh, these guys, uh, we just came out with the show. Um, they'll be between $10 and $15. They'll be, okay. Uh, so that's a, a, a separate buy accessory. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And we will, we will uh, more than likely start uh, making full kits available okay. uh, as well. Uh, but so the, the basic the basic ship, which is the Phantom, uh, you get a spare set of props that come pre-balanced for you. Okay. Uh, comes with the controller here. All right. Comes with the controller, comes with a battery and a charger. Uh, retails for six seventy nine. Wow, that's pretty great. That's a great price yeah. point to be able to get absolutely. into Ariel. Um, and then uh, with the, what is the, the gimbal is the, what was the name of it again? It's the Zenmuse Hero. Zenmuse. So, what is the price point in that? You know, you just announced it. Do you have a price for that already? Um, there, there's a few things that we're sort of uh, uh, waiting on as far as that is concerned. Um, we are we are currently working with GoPro to uh, fully integrate uh, into the camera. Um, so, you know, there's other people have produced GoPro gimbals within the last 30 days or released GoPro gimbals within the last 30 days. Um, again, you know, they don't have the same. Uh, you know the algorithms and you know right the, sta the stability. The control is different. I mean, you can have the same gimbal, but the control algorithms would make right. it less exactly. stable or more stable. Exactly. Yeah. Something that even like you know looks maybe more impressive or substantial. Uh, you know, it's really the brain inside that, that sure. powers and makes it good. Um, but so the thing that those lack that that uh, this guy will, will not is full integration with GoPro. So the Zemus Hero will be uh, the only GoPro gimbal on the market that's fully integrated for GoPro. Uh, which allows you to, via our, uh, our DJI iOS app, have full um, camera control, start, stop, record. Okay. Uh, you'll be able to review your footage, download it to your phone and watch it. Uh, you'll be able to get uh, metrics on you know, altitude okay. and, and uh, head speed and all kinds of really cool stuff. Awesome. Um, and additionally have uh, virtually real-time video downlink. So it's not going through Wi-Fi. It's you know the same signal that's trans, uh, communicating from the transmitter to the ship. Mm -hmm. We're now coming down into your iOS app. So instead of nice. like a two to three second delay, you're looking at like a point two second or less delay. So it's that'd be awesome. A really meaningful ability to monitor shots. So instead of just like you know getting a frame, you know which you know enables you to kind of do a tripod in the air and uh -huh. and you know okay I understand where my frame lines are. Now you can be you know flying through a tunnel, booming up over the bridge and you know, monitor it in real time the whole time. That's sweet. Is there going to be any uh, functionality for actually controlling the gimbal, like doing any pans, tilts, or anything with that? Absolutely. So, you know, with, with this system, um, we really want it to be a like single user experience. And okay. It was designed very much so to be that. All right. Um, traditionally, with, uh, you know, I guess maybe more robust, like professional grade aerial cinematography right. systems, um, you have, traditionally have a pilot and you have a remote cam head operator who is monitoring it. Digital, right. Well, we want this to be, you know, in part because it's a bigger ship with big carbon fiber blades. That you know, safety is a little bit more of an issue. Uh, you know, you're, it's a, a ten, twenty thousand dollar system. You know, Phantoms, you know, allows you to maybe uh, multitask a little bit more. Okay. Right? Um, so uh, with that, uh, you need to be focused on flying. We want to provide you the tools to get the shot, um, but we want to, you know, allow it to be a one person operation. So you do have tilt control. You're able to set. Uh, as you can see here, I'm kind of tilted down at you know maybe right. like a 30 degree angle. So you know you can like tilt and set your uh, frame line however you want. Okay. And then it will just stay dialed. It'll so remember no matter that. What the ship's doing, uh, you know. And that's that's also why uh, this is a two axis gimbal versus a three axis gimbal. The third axis will be dedicated to uh, panning. All right. right. Whereas if it's a one person show, you want to be doing that with the ship as opposed to be doing right. that with the gimbal. Gotcha. And now, uh, speaking of that, uh, well, do we do we? You don't have a price point on that right now. You we don't? do not. Okay, so do you got a ballpark? You can tell me anything. You got an idea? What something um, like that might cost? Sure. Um, you know, we're with, with that GoPro integration. Uh, you know, we're looking at a couple different uh, models potentially, mm -hmm. um, and we're looking at uh, you know probably a six to seven hundred dollar price range. Okay. All right. Great. And then, uh, of course, you also have. Solutions for larger cameras, DSLRs. Uh, Absolutely there, right. Yeah, today we uh, launched both an, uh, sort of a an even more robust platform uh, of our uh, high-end hexacopter system. Okay. Um, and that carries the Lumix GH3, which is a pretty okay. fantastic-looking camera for the. The weight and form factor. Then you have a more robust gimbal for that, then too. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So then, then, yeah, that's just that's the the Zen Muse. This is the the uh, the, the child, the brainchild of the, the Zen Muse, the Zen Muse here. All right, great. Well, thank you for your time, man. Yeah, I really thanks, appreciate man. it. Thank you. Have a good show. You too.
subscribe to Next Wave TV, where filmmakers get educated.